Go for it. Uh, this is John Hatton reporting live from Haiti with Grassroots News. If you have no idea what you're seeing behind me, well, I'll tell you. Um, the, our contact, Pastor George, when we got here, his wife was pregnant, and um, we suddenly went to Port-au-Prince one day, and we were supposed to leave after two days. And for some reason, we ended up staying an extra night. And it just so happens that Pastor George's wife went into labor. So behind us, that's what's going on. They're preparing to birth a baby on a board that was from um, a cut-up semi-truck and a bunch of tarps, um, a Swiss Army knife, and some Americans that went through the healthcare class at YWAM Kona. is having a baby and she needs advice. We, we have some people here that are trained. Can we can you put Katrina on the Yeah, can you put Katrina on the phone? <laughs> Hi cat. We have 
Doctor's appointment at the doctor's at 9 o'clock. Uh, our contractions are about 25 seconds. Yeah. Intervals are about a minute, uh, I don't know, 30. So basically, we want to know, like, we basically want to know if she's okay for the next, like, an hour and a half. <laughs> because if not, she's de ha she has a liver here. We don't want her to deliver here. So the only way is to check to see if she's dilating, right? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on the phone, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna shut off the phone and, and try to check them. I, I'll ask her mother to do it. Yeah, we'll we don't have gloves, we don't have gloves. Like, we have bleach and water. Floss, floss. Not yet. Did you get it? No, the picture, is, the picture says he's coming. Okay. <laughs>
So then to be tied on your head is... All right, this is John Hatton reporting again from Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Um, Justice DTS is hanging out at the tent city. Uh, we've been here for about uh, we've we've been here about three days, and we've been working with the people in the tent city. Uh, today, a little bit more chaos came into the mix because one of the ladies that was um, working with us went into labor, and we've been we've been waiting since about six o'clock. Um, that we were supposed to go to the hospital at nine, but the baby decided that. She was ready to come right now. 8-11, we actually had a baby in the tent city on a piece of wood in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. The girls that were with us um, actually helped the ladies deliver the baby with the information they learned in the Justice Equip from Connie Klein. Um, so we're all just sitting here thinking to ourselves that God is such a show-off because we all, we've all been praying for miracles. We've all been praying to see the Lord's hand at work. And to our surprise, we actually got to be part of a baby being brought into this world, the miracle of life. Um, two days ago, we did a treasure hunt where you would pray for something specific, and that we are someone that we should go and pray for. And when we prayed, all I got was blue bonnet, and I thought that I was crazy. But now I know I'm not crazy because the baby's wearing a blue bonnet. So. <laughs> It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so weird. Everything over here and it's lower. Oh my god. Are you hurting me right now? Something like that. I got you. Yeah. I just didn't know she was going to What's on What's on the That there's a possibility that we might have a baby in Tent City tonight. Yeah. We didn't really, like, we, I think we all No. We just kind of went through the motions and did what we knew. Got, yeah, did what we knew, did what we learned. Put all our heads together. Got things happening. 
Uh, and then just our main focus was to comfort the mom and figure out if there was a hospital nearby, if we could go to a hospital. And in Haiti, apparently, uh, they book appointments for babies. So we were supposed to have this baby at 9 o'clock. It's, it's 9 o'clock now, I think. So, um, when did you, was there a certain time where you were like, okay, the baby's coming, or was it not until the head was there that you were like, oh. Yeah, it was kind of when the head was halfway out. <laughs> and I was like, I think that's a baby. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so was it then that all the stuff from our class started coming? Because you don't, like when I asked you, you didn't really know much else besides <laughs> that like hour and a half that we learned. Right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, an hour and a half of knowledge, a lot of sterile first aid knowledge, and a lot of prayer. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about some of the tools that you use. Uh, we used uh, clean cloths, uh, bleach, clean water, I hope, uh, scissors, dental floss, um, yeah. Yep, our backpacks, sleeping bags to prop her up. And the board. Uh, a board, that's right. We uh, She laid on a sheet. Uh, that's cut from the side of a, s a semi, a board with blankets on it, and we have a makeshift tent here. Um, uh, rubble, you know, broken buildings from the earthquake. How many children have you delivered before? Uh, this would probably be my first, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you feel like this is starting a new life? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no. The wine is good. Yeah. It was uh, the most amazing thing ever. Definitely. For sure. The most amazing thing. And David and I, because we, we had to stay another extra night, made our beds. Uh, like we got a board, really comfortable board. You know, uh, we had four like rocks, like kind of supporting it. All kind of set up just seconds after they dragged this pregnant woman, Shelly, into, onto our bed. And she just had a comfortable birth and she's just sleeping on it right now. And just everything was just so smooth. And uh, even before that, everything was just, the electricity was hooked up um, just right on time. And the lights came on. Uh, we, had vi we had electricity, we had water, and we just had a bed, so it was great. And then we had, yeah, just a tarp was, Everything was just perfect timing, precise timing. So, yeah, God is good. You're so good. Yeah, everyone. everyone was so everyone. like, water, okay, so. Baby. <laughs> and someone said floss, so I'm like, floss, okay. That's what they said to use, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Good. And then I, and I did that. Yeah. Good job. Oh, that was, my God. That was, that was, that was, that was good. Oh, that was good. Jean, Jean Shama, Sherelisa Georges. Do you say it? Jean Shama. So we will call it Sherelisa, but that's. Sherelisa. 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 Oh my gosh. Pastor, congratulations. Thank you so much. Sherelisa. Congratulations. He said, my wife was in labor, I was running to f very fast to work, to go there. Before I, when I get there, he was already there. Oh. Uh. But have you had a, a child born in a tent city? No, <laughs> no. Is that, that's a special case. Were you in your church? Have you ever had a child born by yeah. 20 year olds? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Inexperienced 20 year olds? Has any foreigners ever delivered your baby? That's usually the mission for you. Yeah, but We've all taken like an hour worth of child. My, I haven't. I'm in water for life. My, my fifth child, Nisi, her name is Nisi. I got two missionary friends who was there. Wow. One of them was a certified nurse. Her name was Miss Shine. 
she was the one who was delivered her. Uh, that was in 1990. Were you a little worried when our 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 girls were out there helping, or did you did you know that they had studied a little bit? Mm, no, I can see so much love in what they're doing, so I can, I don't have to worry, and I have I believe in God also. I was really uh, firm and. I have all my confidence in him. You know, everything will be well. Amen. Well, how do we celebrate now? You want to? Johnny, you want to grab some ten picos? I don't have any money. Or I mean, like for the. Let's collect. If you want. They're cheaper. What is the yellow better or the red? I like the red better.